Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. The big news today is that Spotify has bought out Anchor. <sighs> yeah, I know. You, you got to figure uh, Spotify has a few of its own podcasts. They are premium content. And uh, today it was announced that Spotify bought Anchor, which is referred to in the adexchanger.com article as a distribution and sponsorship platform. And they also acquired Gimlet Media, which gives them a podcast production network. So, very interesting news. They spent, uh, according to news articles around 230 million to purchase these two companies anchor which was apparently founded in 2015 allows anyone to record distribute publish and monetize podcasts and has raised 14 and a half million in funding gimlet founded in 2014 uh has reaches about 12 million people and has raised 28.5 million in funding so if we just go by funding numbers alone you figure that you know, anchor cost them a sizable amount of money now why would they be looking to grab anchor because apparently podcast listeners engage twice as much with a platform and listen to more music now i i've heard people say oh my god uh you know they've 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 bought anchor and now Anchor is going to go away or it's going to cost you money to have your podcast through Anchor. And I don't see that. However, I do see them fully pushing monetizing of these podcasts. Like I do it now. You get a short ad somewhere usually in the beginning of the podcast. Um, and whether it is Anchor uh, I'm talking about or it was Flipboard. But that uh, campaign apparently is over, or w- whatever. As long as they're not advertising themselves, they're making money off. They, they take almost a third of a cut. So I can certainly see how this is going to be just, just another part of Spotify. Not a bad thing. Because being part of Spotify means there's more money to invest in this platform. And I think that can be exciting. I'm interested in seeing where it goes. I'd also suspect that some of the truly well-done anchor casts might get uh, scooped up or have uh, a partial uh, avenue toward premium. I don't know. Uh, We'll we'll probably know in the next 6 to 12 months how this is going to play out. But Spotify is doing good. They have money to spend. And this is how they spent their money, and it's interesting. Again, I don't think it's a, a, a bad bad news for Anchor. I think it means that Anchor is viable. You, you know, they're not going to just buy it to strip it down. They're buying it to, in the end, make money off it. And if people are listening to the podcast, and maybe there'll be more benefits to listening through Spotify for your podcast this way. One of the things that you get with Spotify is that you can even now, and this is why this isn't a deal isn't so hugely surprising. You can play uh, Spotify music on your podcast, but it can only be heard, I believe within the anchor app or I, mean, I think it's only within the anchor app, not even Spotify, but you could, there was already a connection between the two companies. So I suspect that that connection is going to get stronger and maybe they'll even uh, a license podcast to be able to use music outside of the Anchor app on other platforms. Again, interesting times we live in. Second bit of news. Uh, I've been going in a, a bit of a back and forth with a reporter. Now, the reporter reached out to me last week. And she wanted to know uh, questions regarding 
Well, she said that she was uh, reporting a story about Gary Gygax's legacy and Gail Gygax, and she wanted to question me. Uh, I'm always wary of reporters. I was a cop for 20 years. We were always told, be wary about reporters and, and lawyers. They're not your friends, unless they're previously your friends. And even then, they're probably not your friends. So in any case, uh, she didn't really offer much in the way of details. Uh, but I was intrigued. You know, in a way, it's flattering to be asked to be interviewed. It means that, you know, you've, you've achieved some kind of a status. Well, yeah, well, after the back and forth where uh, she first mentioned questions about Gen Con, but that was a mistyping or a misdirection. Uh, it took a couple of days before I, and, and of course, any couple of days, I actually, uh, I, I turned down the interview. I respectfully declined. But then we got the following questions. And she linked nine of my blog posts, pretty much dealing with, uh, with Gail and the fund and deals with Fig and uh, the, what the Santo, the big you know Transformers producer, all these things. But uh, she didn't even get. She keeps on using this word legacy, and legacy is what you leave to your inheritors. Um, it is not your statue. Okay, that's not your legacy. And she was asking general questions. She said she'd be asking me general questions about my background and interest in role playing games. Interesting. All right, whatever. What inspired you to start reporting on Gary's legacy? I think that's documented on the blog if she wanted to read it. What initially sparked your skepticism about Gail's handling of Gary's legacy? Again, uh, those are so those posts that she highlighted. And again, it's not Gary's legacy. Okay, it's it's the handling of the trust, which is public funds. These are well, sorry, these are private funds that were given to a nonprofit. Therefore, it is a public, an entity that's subject to public scrutiny, which is why I don't deal with um, Gary's IP. That's covered by the trust, and that was given solely to Gail. Uh, I might have personal opinions on whether she should be more open with it or licensing it, but that's not my business. Okay. A at most, it's the business of the Gygaxes, the family. Then she wants to uh, know are you asking me generally about my insight into Gary's children's initial plans for handling Gary's legacy? I have no insight. Okay. I don't sit down for. Uh, Tea and crumpets with the Gygaxes. I know of them. I communicate through third parties. I've met Ernie, but I'm not intimate with them. I don't know the behind the scenes shit, and I don't need to know. This is a family matter. So I'm not getting involved in a family matter. She then she wants my views. The last Five questions of views on a memorial statue project and how it's been handled, the publication of some of Gary's IP and her discontinuing of it, uh, the Fig Video Game Initiative, Gygax Magazine and its closing, Tom DeSanto's lawsuit. I've covered a lot of the stuff. I've covered it from the news angle. I'm not going to be quoted giving personal opinions on, on this shit that has nothing to do with me. I'm guessing that this is an article defending Gail. Uh, I've looked up the reporter's uh, history when it comes to articles that she has published, and she certainly has a slant. And I declined again. In the end, after my last... Uh, I, and I declined... In the following matter, I won't be able to answer your questions if I don't report on Gary's legacy. His legacy is his IP, and except when it comes up in the news, I don't mention it. Gary left it to Gail, the other trust, and that is that. I have no insights into Gary's children and their plans for their father's legacy. Again, the IP was a solely to Gail. My thoughts on the memorial, you've already read. There's nothing for me to add. I respectfully decline to be interviewed by Eric Tenkar. And the response to me, it sounds like a little bit of a veiled threat. Got it. 
because we'll be referring to you and characterizing your blog in our article. I will be reaching out for comment at a later date with specific questions to which I hope you will respond. Uh, yeah. I, I, you know what? The, the game is over. All right. I, you showed your cards. I walked away. Because you're asking me things that I don't talk about. So why would I answer them to you? You know? And again, I suspect that the tavern and myself will not be shown in the finest light. It is what it is. If you're really listening to this podcast, you pretty much know how I am. So I will certainly link it when the time comes. I'm not linking it now, and I'm not mentioning the reporter's name. No need to give the individual additional attention. And, you know, just, just be ready. I'm sure when it hits, it'll make a little bit of a splash. It's a fairly decent website. Uh, so it'll be interesting. All right, folks, on that note, that is your news for today. Uh, I think the next couple of days are interviews. We'll see if they all come to pass in the time allotted. As always, folks, be healthy, be safe. God bless. Roll your dice well. And I will talk with you all tomorrow. Later, folks.